Hi, I'm Brian, and today we'll be talking about the ACCA F5 March-June 2017 uh, exam question paper. We'll be looking at question 31 of section C, and we'll be looking at requirement C. Assess the performance of the production manager for the month of February. You can download the exam paper from ACCA Global. Now, when we look at the word assess, it means that we need to take a look at the calculations we have done in part A and part B as well as something within the question text, right? So what I have here is I have calculated for you the answers to part A and part B. If you watch some of my earlier videos, I've, I will show you how to calculate the, these answers and we are now going to answer requirement C. So whenever we have variances involved, when we talk about performance, we will deal with the variances first. And from there, we will try to look at information which links to the variances. Since I have planning and operational variances, we're going to look at controllability. Those of you who have done your studies, you will know that planning variances are usually not controllable and operational variances are usually controllable. But we need to look in a case-by-case -case basis whether they are controllable by this manager or not. So in this case, we can conclude that manager is not responsible or manager um, is, should not be held responsible for um, planning variances as they are un not controllable. Now why are they not controllable? It's because over here, it says that the company accountant responsible for updating standards has been sick for the last two months. The company accountant is responsible, not the manager. So we don't really need to worry about the planning variances. The second one over here is that the manager is held responsible for operational variances. Now these variances are controllable. How do we know this? Because in the question text, it says here, the production manager is responsible for all purchasing and production decisions which occur. So that has been selected. So in our answer, we only need to look at operational variances. Okay, so manager performance is assessed, I'm using the verb again, on operational variances. So let's talk first about materials. So as far as materials is concerned, your first operational variance is nil. The material price operational variance is um, nil. Okay, and this is neither good nor bad. It just appears to is due to um, different uh, type of material being selected. There's no evidence of any negotiations or supply problems which the manager had to deal with. He didn't say anything about that. So it's mainly nothing to do with him. It's just a new material that has been selected. He can't take credit for this. Okay. And um, if you go down, the material usage variance, operational variance, <coughs> is adverse. Why would it be adverse? Now the reason it's adverse is because the somehow they have more material has been consumed than planned. Now there could be a new a few issues for this. They did say that it is a new design. The school spring summer dress has been redesigned to incorporate a drop waistband. So probably they have their material planning <coughs> um, planning during usage. You know, they need to cut and things like that. Maybe they are not so well used to it. Maybe the material comes in a different size. They also say that the design of a new dress means that a complicated new sewing technique needs to be used. Maybe the new technique <coughs> leads to higher wastage, we don't know, but it could be, and uh, these are things that should be within his control, okay? Um, or it could be something else. Now let's take a look. You can you have some 
creativity involved. You can think of new ideas if you want to, as long as it's relevant, you'll be accepted. Now let's talk about labor. As far as labor is concerned, we only have one operational variance, which is the efficiency operational variance. Now the labor efficiency operational variance, efficiency, oh yeah, operational variance is favorable. 1920 1, is favorable. Now we need to keep in mind that the planning variance is adverse because the new dresses are expected to take 10 minutes longer. As you can see over here, new dresses are expected to take 10 minutes longer. So the planning variance is adverse, but if not controllable, we don't worry about that. However, the labor efficiency variance is favorable. That kind of looks good. Um, appears that manager has done a good job. However, you need to take a look at the when seen together with the materials variance. It appears that workers may have been rushed. Now how can we say that? Because they, they say here that the workers, the amount of time that the workers work, 24 staff and each works 160 hours, all staff work their contracted hours in February for the pro production of GSPT dresses. So maybe the manager had a strict rule not to utilize overtime because that will lead to a lot of cost and because of that he might have pressured the workers to produce more units during their the available time and because of that there might have been wastage over here so the peers may, the workers may have been rushed and waste uh, material wastage was higher than normal this could be some other factors as well. Maybe there's a deadline for production and things like that. So in conclusion, in conclusion, we will see that the manager didn't do that good a job. Performance is disappointing. The reason why it's disappointing is because there is a net loss to the company based on operational variances. How do I know this? It would be the adverse usage variance from materials is larger than the favorable is larger than the favorable labor variance, efficiency variance. So because of that the manager's performance would be considered disappointing. So if you write like this, would you get full marks? You should because you've covered all the, all the major points which have been given. The examiner's answer is very long, so I've written it in point form so it's easier for you to understand and apply your knowledge in the exam. Okay, so controllability, materials, labor, and conclusion, eight marks. Okay, that's all. Thank you very much.